been a long struggle, packed full of tension. But today, the governor and legislative leaders shook hands on a state budget deal. News Force John Hayes was there as the budget summit finally wrapped up. He joins us in studio with details and a lot of pretty harsh words, John, between Republican leaders. Definitely, Kevin. Lots of smiles today, though, after several tense public meetings. And although things did end up ending peacefully, the governor stopped short of saying he won't take an extra step to get something else he wants. Friction is a good thing. Uh, it, it's a ugly process at times. What started as an ugly budget battle for the 2025 fiscal year ending with handshakes and happy faces. Us coming together, being functional, and getting a budget for the people of the state of Oklahoma. The governor conceding that a personal state income tax cut won't happen this time around. And I'm going to celebrate the fact that we landed the plane, we got this budget done right now. Stopping short, though, of saying another option isn't on the table to get his way. I'm not saying we won't call a special session, but uh, um, you know, now we need to just be happy about this. He did get some items on his wish list, including a $20 million fund for grants to attract or keep businesses in Oklahoma. We want Oklahoma to be the most business friendly state to be the corporate headquarters capital world. Senate Majority Leader Greg Treat pointing out other big ticket items like a $350 million investment in deferred maintenance at state properties, $25 million into additional funding in the state school funding formula, and We have a billion dollars in cash still left above and beyond uh, the uh, traditional savings accounts, and we delivered the largest tax cut uh, in state history this session. Absent from talks, though, House and Senate Democratic leaders. Leader Cindy Munson saying in a statement in part, quote, by keeping the Democratic leaders out of the public budget discussion process, issues important to Oklahomans have not been prioritized. And a quick highlight in all of the numbers, 45 million set aside in disaster relief after the brutal tornado damage we've seen in recent weeks. The next steps here, though, are drafting the deal into legislation for the House and Senate to vote on.